Hi everybody, it's Andre Hammonds. I'm here with Hollywood Junket for season 13, So You Think You Can Dance, and I'm here with All Star Comfort. Woo what up, boo? Woo oh, another night in the books. Yes. And you guys performed a lovely African-inspired hip hop routine. Absolutely. How important do you think it is to show that connection of the African descent in hip hop? It's important because um, the movement honestly came from, Ni like from, I was going to say Nigeria because I'm, I'm Nigerian, so sorry being biased, but it came from Africa. <laughs> um, because it's it's a it's a grounded move. It's just this natural like it's like a triumph. It's a celebration of dance, you know. And to take it back to kind of where the roots were and like put the you know the hip hop flavor of what it is now. It's a beautiful thing. And being from there and being able to go back and and just know how to give that energy to Tahani was a lot of fun. And to Dave Scott, Dave Scott as well. It was a it was a beautiful collab. I love yes. it. Yes. You know what? The movements were so fluid and they just were so authentic and so real. Uh -huh. Did you feel like you got a chance to share with Tahani a little bit about you know where you from and absolutely, your background. Absolutely, absolutely. I I had let her know like some of the movements that one of the movements um called Shoki. Shoki, 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 Shoki. It, it, it's it's almost reminds um, her of the Nene, and because the Nene has that yeah same that thing, and but theirs is is. Those who came first, but they're, they were doing that for a long time. So it was just one of those things that was just like, ah, I shared that with her, shared to the Zonto, shared her just different names of certain dances that she can be able to hopefully put in her Man. You know, pocket and use it. I'm putting that because I'm going to definitely yeah. hit them with that one. Yes, I'm going to hit them with that one. But a bittersweet night for you. Of course, you got to share your heritage, but you also had to see your mini person go home. Mm -hmm. Like, tell me what your feeling is right now. Um, my feeling is, my feeling is sad that she's not going to be continuing on the show. But honestly, I have so much joy for what she's going to become after the show. Like she has such a bright future. The amount of people who don't win the show that have a successful, successful career soon after count. You can count them more on your finger. Like you can't even count them on your fingers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like so, it's a beautiful thing. Like there's 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 life after the show and she has a bright future after the show and especially if it comes to me I'm gonna make sure of it. <laughs> totally my sentiments it's crazy that the people sometimes who don't win these shows go on to have bigger and better careers Absolutely. and sometimes the winners so we definitely will be thinking about her and before you go what is the one Nigerian dish that you would recommend to anybody to try uh, let's see I love fufu and a goosey a goosey or or a kara, a kara, ooh, a kara. A kara is something that you can make. Like a kara is something you can really make. It's just black. If you take um, black eyed peas, okay, skin them, um, grind them, um, put like you know your peppers to put a little bit of water in there, and then you can make moi moi out of it. So you can put that in a foil, and you can like boil it, and it turns into. You can put meat inside of it. Really, it's just all with black eyed peas. It's okay. A so Comfort is going to be coming to my place to cook me some authentic Nigerian food. I have just volunteered her. So stay tuned for cooking lessons with Comfort and Andre. Shout out to Hollywood Junkets. Comfort Foods. <laughs> Comfort Foods. <laughs>